your body movements and I saw I've noticed you've been wearing a black sleeve on your leg the last couple of practices and it's under your tights today. Are you feeling okay? Is that just extra precaution? So great. Oh, as always, you bought new legs on eBay? Mm-hmm. Bought a uh, new knee, a uh, new shoulder, a uh, new ankle, and a uh, new cap on eBay, so I'll be good. So this is just regular bumps and bruises mm-hmm. that are continuing on from earlier? Yeah. Uh, you know, playing late in the, in the season like this and um, you know, playing late uh, last minute, you know, your body's going to hurt. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the end of the day, you just got to fight through the pain and uh, get yourself ready for the playoffs, you know, because we've got more games to go. So I cannot, you know, think about the pain that I have right now. i got to create a mindset that, you know, i got to fight through everything. And um, that's what I'm doing. There are a few stretches where you were on the bench and the team went on a pretty substantial run to increase the inmate. Yes. Happy. Um, I think they did a great job just moving the ball, um, playing fast, uh, with pace, knocking down shots, defending well. Um, they, they did amazing, you know. Um, I think, in the, especially in the third quarter when I came out with the fourth foul, I think Chris did a great job just counting the team and uh, making the, um, the right plays, knocking down shots, finding his teammate. Uh, and it's good. It's good to see my, you know, my team, you know, doing really well. Out there uh, without me. Last year, when you'd have games like that, you guys would kind of just struggle to the end of yeah. play as that. But this year, that that would happen. Just what does it mean that your teammates have kind of stepped up and you're taking on you know, an even larger role? You know, it means it means uh, a lot to me. And uh, I have briefly talked to uh, Coach Bud uh, after the game. You know, even you know when I'm playing my best game and having uh, the team playing such a good game and winning a uh, playoff game on the road. You know, it makes me feel uh, really good about this team and it shows uh, um, what a great character this team has and what a great team this team is. And, uh, hey, it's going to be nice like this. Uh, and I think my teammates did a great job picking me up. Uh, guys uh, like Brooke, Urson, uh, George Hill, everybody, Pat, uh, I think they came in and step, stepped up and uh, helped the team, you know, get this win tonight. You have so many new teammates playing so well and it's not your night necessarily. Do you change your approach at all? Do you, do you take the foot off because you have to be a little less aggressive? Oh, hell no. I don't know. Um, you know, what I do, I always figure out the game. Uh, today, you know, Detroit did a great job just being physical. And, uh, you know, whenever I drove, they were in the paint. You know, I just got to figure it out, make it up, make it up, play, and um, just stay aggressive. You know, that's what I do. You know, I've had uh, Blake uh, guard me in the four uh, games that we played in the regular season, so it's kind of the same. Try to avoid getting charges because he's always try to get charges. Um, you know, uh, he was physical. Um, what else? What else? What else? That's it. Obviously, you only win game four, but do you see an additional benefit in that if you do, you might get a few days off to recuperate a little bit, That's especially if you want to play to June and you need that time. I think we definitely need uh, the time after the game four, but uh, you know, as a team, we're going to try not to think about that. We're going to try to uh, focus in game four, come in, uh, be hungry, play well, and uh, try to win that game. Uh, because we take a, get, uh, a game at, at a time. Uh, but it's going to be nice if we can, you know, win it, finish it here, and uh, get six days uh, some rest. Why do you think you guys have been able to do that in this series to stay focused? Sometimes when you're one seed. I think uh, we might be, you know, number one seed and uh, best uh, team in the NBA. But at the end of the day, we haven't been a playoff series in a while, and uh, we're hungry. I think everybody's hungry, uh, and it starts from our coach, it starts from the leader. Uh, you know, set it, set it the tone, and uh, we're just going to keep fighting. We're going to keep playing hard, and uh, we're going to get try to win as many games as possible. After all the time that you've been in the playoffs, what does that mean to get out of it? It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be a nice feeling. You know, I've never been in a playoff series. So um, it's going to be a nice feeling winning my first playoff series, and it's going to be a nice feeling the team getting out of the first round, and it's going to be going to keep going, you know. Going to keep whoever will play in the second round, and I know it's far away from here, six, seven days away. Um, but whoever will play, we're going to try to win, you know, win too.
Jonas, do you feel like you got their best shot tonight with Blake back the first home game, all the energy <coughs> that's going on? Definitely. Uh, they had a lot of energy. Um, I think Blake had a great game and uh, had his team be great tonight. Um, you know, but obviously we got to win. Uh, I don't know how they're going to show up in game four. You know, usually um, just team that teams that don't have nothing to lose, they go, you know, they show up and they play really aggressive and they play well. But are we going to try to uh, match that energy and play how we were playing this whole three games uh, and try to get a win? But uh, definitely uh, with Blake back, they were more dangerous too. We did a fucking freestyle battle. We did a fucking freestyle battle. Wapo. Wapo.